Myths and Legends Things that chill our bones and tickle our curiosity. Reality or just something we inherited through history? Are you ready to find out about something new? Forests have always carried a mystical reputation with them, especially in the past, when humans were more connected to the nature and respected it highly. From today's perspective, one can fully understand why forests were something to be feared. Close your eyes. Now imagine walking through a forest at night, all alone. Treetops aren't letting any moonlight in, and every single sound around you is so intense. Branches are snapping on the ground, animals are making sounds, and you are all alone in there, with your eyes not made for the darkness. Wouldn't want to be in that position. Me neither. But, in the past, humans were often forced to walk around through the forest. And that is where today's story begins, in a forest called Cernapaka, or roughly translated, Dark Paka. Cernapaka is located near the town Novi Marov, in the north parts of Inner Croatia, stretching in the slopes of Kalnik Mountains. Cernapaka got its infamous name due to the fact that its narrow path used to be a perfect location for outlaws who robbed innocent people. It was a perfect hideout due to the thick forest and people were mostly attacked in the middle of the night. People used to tell stories about the merciless outlaws who used to roam the forest, saying they had no pity for anyone. In addition to the outlaws, Paka also hid mystical old forts, to which, of course, interesting legends are attached. One such is the legend of Fort Gradisce, that is believed to have been built way back in the Roman times. And the legend about the cursed girl is the most famous of them all. The story tells us about a beautiful young girl that used to live in the Fort Gradisce. As mentioned, she was cursed and was turned into a huge snake. She was cursed to carry a golden key of Fort Gradisce in her mouth, and the only one who could leave the curse was a young miller, and it could be done only in the nights of a full moon. Some stories even say that she was a princess and was cursed by an evil old witch. She was a beautiful young woman, but only when she stayed within the walls of Fort Gradisce. Once she walked out, she was turned into a hideous snake. Allegedly, a young miller's son fell in love with the princess. When he came to see her, in the night of a full moon, he saw her turn into a snake, and he ran away in fear. The legend was revived once the restoration of the old town Gradisce began and when allegedly a big snake crawled from underneath the old rocks. It is said that it is the cursed beauty that is still waiting for her miller to leave the curse and set her free. There is yet another story that is still told today and it's located not so far from Paka. Our second legend is located in Chanyo. Once, a mighty dragon used to live underneath the fort Chanyo. The dragon used to steal and kill livestock from local people, but one day it went too far. The story says that the dragon set his eyes on a pretty girl from the village Hun, and one day it snatched her. This act angered the villagers and finally pushed them to act together. It is said that they formed a huge mob from all neighboring villages and went after the dragon. In the end, angry villagers saved the poor girl and managed to overcome the dragon. Once it was incapacitated, people dragged it into a big cave and filled the entrance up so that it could never escape. To this day, when the earth trembles due to the faint earthquakes that are common in this part, people say that the dragon is trying to crawl out of the cave in the mountain. So, there you have it, a legend of a cursed princess and a greedy dragon. 
No one can tell me it isn't a quality fairy tale material. Is there any truth behind these legends? Well, that's up to you to decide. Hey guys, thank you for listening. So, new week, new video. Hope you liked it. Uh, you know the drill. Share, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like books based on mythology, I will leave a link down below in the description so you can check out my books. So, this has once again been one of Croatia's myths and legends. My name is Jelena Hrvoj. And I'm Daniel Fikert. And we will hear you next week. Bye! Bye.